Hello everyone, in this video, prepare to pray, prepare to receive into your life powerful prophetic declarations from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman, the lead pastor of Koinonia. Let your heart be opened as you receive these declarations and prepare to pray and pray fervently. God bless you. Every door that has been closed over your life and destiny, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may that door be open now. May that door be open now. Number two, every human vessel who has proposed to help you, but for some reason they've not been able to attend to you, this week coming, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy that you receive their help. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three. Everyone trusting God for a job here. You've heard the testimonies. I declare yet again, may my God surprise you. Every business here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare that the Lord God of heaven will cause you to excel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Let's agree right now for anyone connected to you who is currently in the hospital or struggling with any sickness or someone who came here for service let me stretch my hands over you before we wrap up every devil of sickness that followed you here it does not matter what name it is called in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now i command your blood to be cleansed now I pray for every doctor here and every doctor hearing me, every lab attendant, every paramedic. We empower you afresh as instruments of God's mercy. Receive supernatural wisdom and unction as you attend to patients. In the name of Jesus Christ. Under your watch, the patients will not die. In the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are connecting right now from various hospitals, clinics, various places of help, maybe rehabilitation centers. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, may the life and the power of Jesus surge through the television and touch them right now. In the name of Jesus. And not only are you a bona fide recipient of longevity, I release you as an agent to transmit the same. <laughs> that beginning from tonight, whosoever you declare upon, as far as longevity is concerned, may heaven back it up. <laughs> For in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Please lift your hands and receive this prophetic blessing every door that has been closed over your life and destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that door be open now may that door be open now number two every human vessel who has proposed to help you but for some reason they've not been able to attend to you this week coming in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy that you receive their help in the name of Jesus Christ number three everyone trusting God for a job here you've heard the testimonies I declare yet again may my God surprise you every business here by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare that the Lord God of heaven will cause you to excel. 
in the name of Jesus Christ I pray I know that from an economic standpoint it looks like times are very difficult but I want to declare even as you have prayed may the grace for exemption in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you but please hear me no one here under the sound of my voice will become a victim of any kidnapping as you go by road as you go by sea as you go by air you are supernaturally protected in the name of jesus and every orchestration of darkness against anyone here you are delivered now those seeking God for promotion I declare let it be yours those seeking God for restoration in families let there be that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray as always for your spiritual life this is the highest and the noblest index to measure your success I decree and declare fire like never before upon your prayer life fire like never before upon your word life in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me if you came here facing any cycle of disappointment any cycle of disappointment I'm declaring to you this night it comes to a permanent end anything that has left you that should not have left by the power of the prophetic we call it back to your life <laughs> hear me some of you is not like you are doing bad but sincerely you've not done anything extraordinary for a long time is you can't say you are not doing maybe you are doing poorly but you can't also say you are excelling the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter may that ever brighter grace rest on you that ever brighter grace rest on you in the name of jesus christ you have celebrated me you have honored me you have seen what god has done in and through my life i want to pray a prayer for no you don't have to kneel or did but please this thing called grace for visibility is not you can't manipulate it it's not about social media if the grace is not on you if you like beg people to see you they will say we are busy i decree and declare whatever has hidden you so that your glory will not be seen by the power that raised christ from the dead in this season find supernatural visibility from america to europe to asia to africa even in nigeria visibility for your ministry visibility for your family visibility for your business visibility for your products visibility for your business outfit in the name of jesus christ everyone here who has the call of god upon his life i declare by reason of your encounter here you will not fail help them you will not fail men women pastors apostles prophets evangelists missionaries receive the engracing for a new season in the name of jesus i pray for your finances by the power that raised christ from the dead you shall not beg you shall not beg step into the overflow by the anointing of the spirit you will soak the breast of kings and in their glory you will boast yourself in the name of jesus christ the lord will multiply you you will not be small he will glorify you you will not be few in the name of jesus christ The last prayer point because thou has loved righteousness 
and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows i want to pray for you honor is a grace you've heard me say you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon another i pray for you by the privilege of this that we have received in the name of jesus we have received it from god we have received it through the fathers we have received it through them that sell in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may this mantle rest upon you anywhere you have been despised may that grace bail you out in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and give him all the glory wave your hands to jesus from left to right and tell him thank you lord we thank you for tonight in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let me speak over your life i believe in the power of the prophetic i believe in its ability to program a climate of spiritual possibilities and it is the assignment of the prophetic and even priesthood to speak and declare over god's people it's important to receive the blessing with all your heart these are not mere speakings of a man's word it is as inspired by the holy spirit i want to speak over everyone here the arrows of bloodshed the arrows of bloodshed over you and over your loved ones we command it returns back to hell no one no one under the sound of my voice will be a victim of bloodshed number two everybody connected to you by physical descent or by responsibility for your sake i declare that they are supernaturally preserved in the name of jesus i pray over your finances in the name of jesus the son of the living god i cry by god that this night may help arise for you from his sanctuary may help arise for you from his sanctuary you will not beg in the name of jesus god will use men god will use systems to make for your supplies number four i decree and declare that even in this season hear me koinonia nothing dies in your hand nothing dies in your hands in the mighty name of jesus if there is anybody here appointed unto death that there is any manifestation of a curse or any manipulation of the spirit of death that in the realm of the spirit they've concluded over you or your children whether through the elections or any other means i knock on the door of death and i command it to be far from you far from your habitation hallelujah every time there is famine every time there is economic and political turbulence one of the mysteries in the kingdom that preserves god god's people is favor can i speak over your life in the name of jesus the son of the living god you belong to a family that has been marvelously helped by god i pray experience favor i pray for you experience favor experience favor favor from the north favor from the south favor from the east favor from the west two more prayers i want to place a grace on you that causes those who need what you carry to look for you in the name of jesus whether it is an anointing or a gift a skill any kind of value that can make you to be of demand and to live a rewarded life i stir up that gift by the grace of god in the name of jesus christ let those who have an appreciation for what you carry i compel them to locate you i compel them to engage you and 
I compel them to reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me pray for your spiritual life and your walk with God. At times of political economic turbulence, we call them perilous times. Many believers, if they do not manage their, their faith process, they find out that their spiritual lives begin to decline either because of laxity or discouragement. Anytime things look like it is not the way you want economically, politically, and otherwise, that is not the time to run away from the things of God. It is a time to run closer. For the Bible declares that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It says the righteous man runneth to it and he is saved. Let me pray for your prayer life. Let me pray for your word study life. Let me pray for your appetite for spiritual things. It will not go down. 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 In the name of Jesus. This week, I release you a sign and a wonder. I release you a savior. I release you a witness. I release you ambassadors of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. May no one despise the anointing and the mantle upon your life. For in Jesus' name we pray. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, rise up on your feet shall I take a paratu zikatea in the next five minutes we are going to pray in the spirit please be serious take the time to pray generate energy in the spirit we are praying under a corporate anointing lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit shake it he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the Shanandabakata, hallelujah are you ready to pray prayer point number one psalm three psalm three please help us media psalm three and verse one lord how they 
are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me verse 2 many there be which say of my soul there is no help for you in god verse 3 but thou O lord art a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down in this season i am lifted supernaturally lift your voice and begin to pray but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Like a bronze of a catusi get her. Sapacata Pacato, Embracata Pacato, Pella Pacata Pacato, Sapato, 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 in the name of Jesus, Paroco Sapacota, Lecata Prasketa, Sapacata Protoscopa, Embracata Pacata Prasoscopa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 12. Please give it to us quickly. Acts chapter 12. From verse 4. The Bible says that Peter was kept in prison. And the Bible says they kept him in prison, intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door. That kept the prison verse 7 the bible says and behold the angel of the lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me verse 9 the bible says and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision 10. Hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the bible says they came onto the iron gate that leaded to the city listen to me this is the gate that stops visibility there is a gate that stops the visibility of men it says the gate leads to the city your business can be there but there is an iron gate listen and the bible says that the gate opened on its own accord when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city is the gate that controls influence are you ready to pray in the name of jesus every gate standing my way of influence and visibility i declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of bars and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Shabbat Shalom, 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 Shabbat Shalom,
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make decrees in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125 verse 3. Psalm 125 verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine. He shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction 
when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shall laugh neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth why listen it says for thou shall be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because i was given dominion over them say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit no enchantment no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive lift your voice and pray i am in covenant I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 By all means, Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... 
this is where we are getting to you don't need to know who will help you strangers and strangers shall stand and feel listen 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 strangers shall stand and feed your flock it says and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen this was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth the Bible says and David said is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake and they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons the Bible says he sent him to Lodeba he said there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth go and fetch the man the king said when he came he said although you are crippled even Mephibosheth said am I a dog that the king will be sending for me he said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him he said but as for you Mephibosheth you will eat with me at my table here forever keep that scripture there listen this scripture is a deliverance scripture stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know it's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough stop troubling your uncle your auntie every time you are saying god visit me your mind is going to a particular person that real estate man leave god to decide who like a movie director let him decide who will come with the blessing are you ready to pray make decrees in this season strangers are feeding my flock strangers are feeding my flock the sons of alien are coming to bless me hell prepared blessings rising from everywhere hallelujah two prayer points and we're done are you ready to pray we're going to pray for nigeria how many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation you see the happenings around this nation the church should not be silent it's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements our assignment is to pray pray like believers with intelligence he said pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we are going to pray we cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people you heard the testimony of our dear auntie here the precious daughter just came out of the her school and these wicked evil people entered a car and that's how they carried her killed other innocent people whoever digs a pit for you i stand by my god and i declare they must enter that pit hallelujah now listen Haman was plotting the annihilation of the Jews and he was clearly cooperating with Vashti and God needed to remove Vashti and when God brought Esther Esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and Mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak 
so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 hallelujah hallelujah let me make decrees of our lives now decrees are powerful hallelujah prophetic words don't only reveal they create they make what is not there to be there we can call the things that be not and make them to appear we can call the favor that be not and make it appear we can call the lifting that be not and make it appear are you ready to pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of jesus everywhere the helpers of your destiny are men instructed by god to hold your hand and lift you i don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe i stand by the voice of prophecy and i command them to show up in your life 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 listen to me every strange pattern and occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor ah. in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor 
I speak it from the depth of my spirit. Return with a fearful testimony of favor. We shift systems, we shift structures, and I command favor. I declare favor. I command favor. I declare favor. Can I pray for your spiritual life? Everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of God. You used to pray in the night, but now you sleep all till the day. There is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you. So the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer. Receive an impartation of the grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Hear me. We are wrapping up. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are many of you. Seasons are about to open in your life. But listen, listen. The devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons. Beware. One of the traps of Satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense. Everything offends you. Your husband, your wife, your children, your boss. Make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation. I declare joy unspeakable, joy unspeakable, full of glory, joy unspeakable, full of glory, joy unspeakable, full of glory. Hallelujah. Let me pray for those in business. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost and I believe in miracles. I don't care how it has been before now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, what has refused to walk in your hands? Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go, uh, Go back and watch wonders happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shall find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now hi 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 glory be to God just listen hi 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 glory be to God I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I, 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 I. Glory be to God. I, 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 I. Glory be to God. 
in the name of Jesus upon someone's eye the grace to see receive that grace now receive the gift of sight now hear me let me start with those called into the prophetic in the name of Jesus a heavy grace from heaven let it rest upon you now take that grace now anyone here under the sound of my voice called to operate in the prophetic office I activate that grace to see now And declare the grace that brings life to your dreams and your visions from this night may that grace rest upon you now restoration of dreams restoration of prophetic dreams restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ Number two, I want to pray for you. Your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now. Begin to see them now. The ideas connected to your wealth, begin to see them now what's that song another measure sing it for me another measure upon your life upon your ministry receive it in the name of Jesus I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus what you have never seen in scripture I open your eyes to begin to see it I open the eyes of your understanding unusual insights into scripture receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge the word of wisdom the gift of prophecy i decree and declare 
anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you i stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now A fresh impartation now Adonai 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 Every trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness, every mistake you have made, some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight. Some of you may be in marital crisis right now. Some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now. In the name of Jesus, I invoke the mercy of God come out of that situation now come out of that situation now a miracle service is next week but please allow me to speak over your finances there is something your eyes needs to see i want to pray for you can i tell you this listen your wealth is not everywhere don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because he's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy wherever your financial resources will come from i gravitate you towards that area i gravitate you towards that area i gravitate you towards that area in the name of jesus christ everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of jesus i'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you unawares again I say it again may nothing take you unawares that before it happens by the power of sight may you see it so that if you have to stop it you stop it from happening and if you have to allow it then you allow it happen hear me by the gift of sight you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me repeat it again you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you
Now in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, please hear me, any door standing in front of you that has refused to open, I call upon the God of my covenant between now and December 31st, please hear me, in the name of Jesus, that grace is coming on someone, the grace for open doors, take that grace now, the grace for Apacotes Katepata, the grace for open doors, receive that grace right now, I speak to every closed door, Efata, be open, Efata, be open. Help them, please. I come in the name of he who holds the key of David. He says, I can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open. I say to you again, I don't care how long that door has been locked. In the name of Jesus, we break that door open now. We break that door open now. We break the Pakoska Tebata. We break that door open now. Hear me. There is a strange grace for visibility that is coming on people. Hear me. Do you know what it means to be visible? To be visible means to be acknowledged by the optical eyes. You can be there and yet not be visible. Visibility is the key for being living a rewarded life. Until people know you are there, they cannot place a demand on your gifting and grace. Kaparika toskata, ebreketos ketebata, abakeros ya. Help them, please. I don't know what has covered your glory, but in the name of Jesus, may that grace for visibility rest on you now. Let it rest on you now. Hear me. Please help them. When baby Jesus was born, no physical man announced and said a baby is born. There was a grace on him that made the magi. They left their distance and carried gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and they came to pay homage to a baby. Those guys were wise men. Why will they pay homage to a baby? So don't tell me I'm small. They paid homage to a baby. I say it again. Whatever has covered your glory so that those to honor you cannot find you. I lift you by prophecy. Rise to a position of visibility. Rise to a position of visibility. Now hear me, I have taught you here that all blessings come from God through men to men. All blessings come from God through men to men. All troubles come from Satan through men to men. In any case, men are always the midwives of destiny, whether it is from God or from Satan. Hallelujah. There are many of you, God said yes since January, but the man who will say yes on earth has not been available. And there are forces that have pushed them away. Let me prophesy for your destiny helpers. Because you see, let me tell you, you are as powerful as those who support what you represent. The Bible says in the multitude of men is a king's honor, not in the multitude of your gift. Every man ordained by God to respond to you favorably this year and for whatever reason, maybe by demonic intrusion, their attention has been taken away from you. I speak to the north, the south and the east and the west. I command your helpers to gravitate towards you. To I command your helpers to gravitate towards you. Gravitate towards you.
Hallelujah. One of the mysterious spiritual currencies that buys a life of dignity and honor, including wealth, is this grace called favor. Favor is a grace. Look up, please. The understanding that favor is unmerited is not accurate. Favor is very merited. Favor is multidimensional. The dimension of favor that is not merited is the grace that administers salvation. But favor is merited. Proverbs 13, 15. It says, good understanding procured favor. Please give it to us. Good understanding giveth favor. But the way of the transgressor, the violator of patterns is hard. How do you know favor is on your life? The real proof of favor is access to the heart of men. You know you are favored to the degree to which there are men to answer and attend to the matters of your life. Favor carries a tripartite expression. Please listen. Favor, genuine Bible favor carries a tripartite expression. Number one, unusual kindness. Number two, unusual acceptance. Number three, unusual access. Until this tripartite expression is captured in your life, it is not favor. And I've told you, if it happens only once, it's not favor. It's breakthrough, but not favor. Favor must happen repeatedly, regardless of circumstances. Exodus 3, 21. And I will give these people favor. Pay attention, please. In the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when ye go, help me please, ye shall not go empty. Psalm 44 and verse 3. For those who have been trusting God for structural establishment, here is the secret. They got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them. But your right hand and thine arm, it says, and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast a favor towards them. Esther 2.15, the B part. The little village girl Hadassah who was brought from Shushan, the Bible says, and Esther obtained favor in the eyes of how many? All. When favor comes on you, the only person who cannot bless you is a blind man, provided they have eyes to see. All them that looked upon her. Verse 17, not even the king was spared. And the king loved Esther above all the women. And she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. I know what favor is. Believe me with all humility. I can tell you. I may not know everything about it. But there is something I know about the favor of God. As we have received by grace. In the name of Jesus. Upon someone. Right now. Someone who is tired. Karakos katikati apalakatos. From the depth of my heart. I pray for you. As we have received freely. May this grace called favor. Rest upon you now. May this grace called favor rest upon you now. May this grace called favor rest upon you now. I speak to you. Obtain unusual kindness from men. Unusual acceptance with men. Unusual access to the hearts and the resources of men. The favor of God is the number one reason people succeed. I have taught you again and again that in this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. There are people who you cannot cast away. The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't cast away. You have to pray for a rite of passage into their heart. Otherwise, that door will not be open. They are called gatekeepers. The covenant that binds them is beyond their attitude. Even in their fallen state, the throne of God still acknowledges them. You won't pray them away. You will pray for favor. For instance, there was nowhere to bound to bind and cast Pharaoh. If David was waiting, if, if Joseph was waiting to bind and cast Pharaoh to be prime minister, he would have waited forever. When God wants to lift Joseph, he will make Pharaoh have a dream that only Joseph can interpret. 
and give him access to the palace the wine presser said i remember my wrong this day there was a young man who has been locked up my carelessness has added two years extra to his life and they said go and bring him and the bible says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god there are men who can send for you and bring you out of certain realms it was the king that sent for joseph never to return to the prison again whoever needs to send for you in the name of jesus may the voice of favor call them May the voice of favor call them. May the voice of favor call them. Whoever must send for your family in this period, whoever must send for your ministry, whoever must send for your value, may favor compel them to call you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. This world is a very selfish world. It takes the favor of God for people to turn their hearts and their minds and their eyes away from the nuances and distractions and to focus on your destiny to lift you. This world is not that kind. I can tell you, people are very selfish. They are about and justifiably so. Everybody is focused on building their destiny. Whatever will make someone suspend attention over his destiny and invest his attention, his credibility, his resources on you must not be natural. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to you, his Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel, he has come to you, his Israel. Therefore, I declare over you, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the favor of God rest on your head. You know, I told you that. The number one reason why people succeed is favor. If this is the only grace you receive and live, I guarantee you, you will return back rejoicing. Yeah. One more time, I'm saying it, especially for those who have not seen this grace walk in you. I pray for you. This is a house and a life that God has shown favor in an unusual dimension. May that grace rest upon you. Yeah. May that grace rest upon you. Yeah. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. From across the seven continents of the earth. Anyone who has been mandated to reach you for your rising. Whatever barrier is stopping them from reaching you. I take it out of the way now. I take it out of the way now. Number three, the grace for visibility. Whatever has closed your glory so that your works and your excellence is not seen, especially by those who can celebrate God with you and even re reward you. I declare, may that grace cause your face to be seen. May that grace cause your voice to be heard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the riches and the blessings that are connected to every territory, in this case Abuja here, or whatever territory you are coming from, I declare, the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all, that even the king is fed by the increase of the field. Your portion in this land, or wherever you are represented, I command it to locate you. I command it to gravitate towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, I pray for your family. 
if it is well with you and it is not well with your family then it is not well with you i pray for you all your siblings your parents your loved ones all who are connected to you by natural descent by blood and by responsibility none of them will go down none of them will go down none of them will fall by the wayside in the name of jesus christ hear me koinonia let a mark and a mantle of honor let it rest upon your head let it rest upon your head let it rest upon your destiny everyone who is in ministry here and it looks like ministry is barren unfruitful you love god you are serving him with integrity of heart but there are no results that follow your loving and serving jesus in the name of jesus begin to command unusual results begin to command unusual results I separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for our children we prayed for our children already but we are praying for our children koinonia children will be known for excellence koinonia children will be known for diligence they will love the lord and they will be outstanding i pray for every professional here anyone here who is in the career path especially a professional in the name of jesus i forbid you from remaining at the same position business people hear me i speak to you by the power that raised christ from the dead and by the grace that helps men prosper everyone in business here i place an anointing upon you go and prosper go and prosper go and prosper go and prosper anyone here in need of a job i declare may your supernatural job locate you shame and reproach is finally terminated from your life now let me speak over your spiritual life this is a major prayer point i've spoken about the things that pertain to life let me now speak about the things that pertain to godliness because this is very important anything eating up your prayer life so that your passion and your zeal for fellowship and prayer has gone down or you are not interested in spiritual things again receive the fire of revival now whatever spirit ties you and does not allow you to stand up to take your place like a priest and pray against demonic things i decree and declare right now let fresh fire come upon your altar number two your word study life please hear me you cannot afford to live in ignorance the secret of dominion is access to light and even understanding in the name of jesus the grace to be a student of scripture the grace to be given to doctrine to learning may that mantle rest upon you now for those of you who love jesus but your company is full of bad and destructive people may my god separate you right now in the name of jesus christ edit your friends edit your relationships make sure love everybody mean everybody well but protect your focus protect your vision and make sure you surround yourself with people who are going where you are going in the name of jesus christ there will be no obituary from any family I say it again there will be no obituary from any family whether by road whether by air whether by sea be protected <laughs> hallelujah um, Nigeria is like a boiling pot and there are so many things happening right now you know we're trusting God to be able to select leaders that really love this nation and fear god and mean well for this nation from the presidency 
gubernatorials. There are a number of people here who are, you know, in politics. Some are even directly contesting for various positions. Please hear me. Let me say this. If you belong to this ministry and you are contesting for any political position, please be sure from your heart that you will not go and be a disappointment to Jesus and even to us. Many Christians cry and ask people to vote for them. Once they are voted into power, they throw away God and act like unbelievers until their tenure is almost finished. Then they just package small money and bring to church as a bribe to restore the damage that they have done for the kingdom. We pray that from this place, God will raise people who are different. I pray for all of you here in this ministry who are contesting or connected to people who are contesting. May my God grant you favor. But I pray for Nigeria. We pray for Nigeria right from this place from the presidency that's right thank god for the national flag as a point of contact in the name of jesus we pray for this beloved country nigeria and we prophesy by the power that raised christ from the dead that there will be no bloodshed please shout amen everyone or any parties or any individuals from the presidency down to local government or to counselors that are already preparing thugs, paying people, hiring mercenaries that they will be maiming and killing. In the name of Jesus, we release instruments of judgment from here. Any arrangement for vote buying, any arrangement for stealing, manipulation of figures in the name of Jesus may the hand of God and the sword of judgment speak against such and we declare that in a way we have never seen in this nation from the presidency to the lowest levels may God handpick for every region in the name of Jesus Christ but by all means we pray for peace in the name of Jesus Christ no violence whether pre-election during election or post-election I shared with you a vision last week that God showed me we pray for all our media houses that God will grant them grace to do that which they need to do with intelligence and with excellence and professionalism that the media houses will not be the reason for chaos and violence in the name of Jesus Christ the meaning of that is that since God is putting Nigeria in place, your life must be in place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be for you. For all our international guests who have traveled all the way coming here, you return back with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. You reign, you reign. Hello. witness of the mercy and the faithfulness of God this week I declare for all your loved ones who are not saved let this be their week of salvation in the name of Jesus and every long-standing issue in your life may the God of all grace visit you on it this week let me speak over your finances let favor from Monday till Sunday let it follow you 
from Monday till Sunday let it follow you this week you are marvelously helped of God in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must appear in the name of Jesus before the weekend they already arrive you will not die you will not cry in the name of Jesus anyone plotting evil for you like Haman their evil will come upon them in the name of Jesus and for everyone who has been praying that God will bring someone for him to bless may you be the one God puts in their mind in the name of Jesus your prayer life will not go down your word study life will not go down your passion for the things of God is increasing your testimonies increasing your witness increasing you walk in health and vitality by this prayer I curse every stranger in your body in the mighty name of Jesus and I place a mark of touch not upon you I decree and declare no satanic force will come near your dwelling for your sake your family members who are not here are blessed everyone who sees you will know you are a Christian indeed signs and wonders will be produced through your hands and as you return next week you return with marvelous testimonies for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed give Jesus a big hand clap hallelujah hallelujah please look up is it possible to truly walk in the experience of authority over unclean spirits yes do you have to be a man of God to access that privilege in terms of ministry no in terms of knowing God yes can you have authority over sickness disease untimely death yes sir is there a grace that can enhance that reality yes sir can you walk in favor that elemental forces within your territory are compelled to bow and deliver its riches to you yes sir is there a grace that controls that possibility yes sir can men receive it yes can it be made manifest here and now yes sir I'm saying that because this is what you are about to receive so open up your spirit as I pray for you and then we wrap up the service father you have placed this prophetic word in my heart for the body of Christ that there is a need to come into a higher spiritual understanding and then to access the requisite grace I'm praying right now for a man of God here I'm praying right now for a businessman here I'm praying for a prophet an apostle an evangelist a pastor following from some nation where your life has been barren of the experience of what the word says should be as a result of the finished work of Christ I decree and declare authority over unclean spirits receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now that from tonight in the name of Jesus you will not have to bring them to Joshua Selman that you will stand as a priest that you are and make declarations and this grace will speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ number two in the name of Jesus I first pray for you the sickness that will kill you may it never come near your body the sickness that would deteriorate your organs may it never come near your destiny and if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is having any planting in their body that is not by my God I command it to jump out of your life With these anointed hands, may you go back and lay them on the sick and watch mighty miracles happen by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Number three, and finally for tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, the grace that quickens your mind, then quickens your hand, then draws men to you to make for supplies in your life. In the name of Jesus, I place that grace on your head. I place that grace on your head. I speak to every financial bill that may be depressing you, that is not giving you peace, you are not able to sleep because there are needs that must be met. This week, I stand by the prophetic and the apostolic. May my God raise strange help for you. May my God raise strange help for you. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Anyone here who may have lost in business, you've lost money, you've lost clients, you've lost opportunity, in the name of Jesus, I place a grace on you. Go back and excel. For the sake of his name and for the sake of his kingdom, go back and excel. And there are many of you here, while you sleep in the night, the spirit of wisdom will come to you and open you up to strange strategies that makes for your rising in the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me. Nobody under the sound of my voice will die before their time. Nobody under the sound of my voice will have to live their life begging for tea and bread. Every family here that is going through any kind of limitation in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I am praying let my God arise and help you and finally any human agent who has been ordained by God to help you and support you as you rise they may have forgotten you they may have been ill advised against you but I'm praying this week may my God use them to bring his word to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ therefore my dear people walk in this consciousness don't just share the grace and leave walk in this consciousness that I am anointed walk in this consciousness that I am God's battle axe walk in this consciousness that many destinies depend on me walk in this consciousness that I have received something that I must put to work and as you do that, you will see the God of wonder surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We'll raise your banner up. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. We'll raise your banner up. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing. Of Jesus I speak over your life that this name you have you have found as an inheritance let it work wonders this week in the name of Jesus Christ and like we have learned anybody who tries to use elemental forces against you they will see the superior power of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ by this prayer every fear that you have fear of men using things against you in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you it will not work and where it has been working before now that power is broken officially in the name of Jesus Christ therefore in the name of Jesus go and prosper in the name of Jesus experience favor in the name of Jesus rise to the next level in the name of Jesus, experience restoration. In the name of Jesus, I call you victorious. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
elemental forces only work to your advantage in Jesus mighty name we pray in the name of Jesus father I have taught your people like you have put in my spirit I pray that the doing grace the grace that makes them to take advantage of this truth and act upon it until they emerge victorious let that grace be released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ every faulty belief system you may have sustained that has been responsible for poverty failure sickness defeat anger all kinds of health issues in the name of Jesus by this prophetic declaration I declare let there be a transition in your mind the salvation that has only found expression in your spirit and has not yet flown into your mind transiting you to a superior believer may that transition begin from tonight as a man of God go and prosper as a business person go and prosper as a career person go and prosper as a family person go and prosper your days will be filled with victory your days will be filled with prosperity and hear me every weapon of darkness that has followed you until now programming failure and exhaustion and defeat I decree and declare you are delivered now and forever father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare you gave me this instruction to bring this prophetic word as a deliverance in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that mantle and that grace that makes for wealth that took ordinary people in scripture and even ordinary people in our day to day and has exalted them bringing beauty for ashes and joy for mourning I decree and declare may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now rest upon your business rest upon your ministry rest upon your household rest upon your career in the name of Jesus Christ by reason of this grace I speak prophetically over you that everything that represents the shame and the reproach connected to poverty I declare that it dies over your life now every family here that has never experienced genuine prosperity is always from poverty to poverty you saw those before you you saw your parents some of you right now and you're about transferring the same to your children in the name of Jesus may this anointing intercept that progression intercept that progression in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it was not always so every failed business here every dead or dying business I decree and declare may help us show up and lift you back may help us show up and lift you back in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus please believe this prophecy between now and December 2023 I prophesy upon you come out of that debt come out of that financial situation come out of that financial situation in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ father let the power to prosper the engracing that can rest on men and women and program them for extraordinary success I declare by the privilege of this apostolic and prophetic mantle receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now be delivered from every financial captivity hear me what your father could not do what your mother could not do for some of you what has never been done before you I empower you by this anointing go and do it extraordinary results in business extraordinary results in ministry in the name of Jesus Christ listen many of you will come and stand here and begin to testify of strange financial doors in the name of Jesus Christ 
and by this anointing everybody mandated to help you especially in this month in this month of april leave may leave june we are talking april i don't know where they are but i can call them by prophecy in the name of jesus christ the one who gave power to men i declare this week that is coming i stand by this mantle i call for strange helpers strange helpers strange lifters in the name of jesus christ that by reason of this that you have heard some of you by god you will step into prepared blessings you will be sitting down someone will call you and give you a car call you and give you a house i'm telling you call you and give you a job he has trained you so his hands will not be restrained in blessing you there are some of you who are in ministry god will give people instructions and say they should come and hold your hands and see to it that you never go down again every family struggling financially whether to pay school fees to pay rent to complete building projects or maybe to fund projects that are ongoing in the name of jesus this week may ebenezer the helper of men may he arise and surprise you It's a realm of your glory, it's a realm of your grace. I can see a mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Shabbat shalom. You're not wasting your time tonight. Please just press for one minute. I just felt stirred in my heart as I raised this song that the Lord would have us press in the spirit. There is a making that is happening in our lives tonight. Nina Kawa we abo Sarkin Salama Nina Kawa go dia Sarkin Sarkin Salama above all names 
I stand tonight by the privilege of the anointing that you have given. Anyone who is in any kind of pit right now, marital pit, financial pit, ministerial pit, in the name of Jesus, let the power that raised Christ from the dead bring you out of that pit right now. Bring you out of that pit right now. Bring you out of that pit right now. Come out of that pit right now. Hear me. Everything you had that you thought was God that has been leading you into trouble. You have done more than 50 instructions that came from that supposed voice and not one of it has glorified God in your life. Every demon masquerading as the voice of God, confusing you, confusing you maritally, confusing you financially, confusing you spiritually. I silence that voice right now. 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 The spirits that have hijacked your dreams and visions to the point that you don't even want to dream again because you don't trust what you see. For some of you, you were accurate in your dreams. When God shows you things, they happen. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I prophesy to you, may your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood. May your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood. God is delivering someone. Anybody here who knowingly or unknowingly have gone to dark powers, to get any kind of solution or people went on your behalf I want to release you now listen carefully the Bible says war to them that go to Egypt for help some of you they carried your names and took it to shrines you didn't know because they want you to marry because they want you to have children they want your ministry to thrive or some of you sincerely you were misled by well-intentioned but maybe ignorant people or just wicked friends let's go to this herbalist we will eat this they will buff us with this so that this will happen you cannot go to the devil and soil your hand with him and then suddenly wash your hand and say it's not my business there are rules of engagement no because there are many destinies that have been tied down right now because there are voices and altars saying you can't go you can't go for certain people parents respectfully speaking and with every sense of honor to parents parents please be careful don't allow desperation i want my child to go abroad by fire by force I want my child to marry by fire by force I want my child my daughter to have children by fire by force and sometimes by fire by force has led people someone who say well it's not exactly a herbalist he just knows how to see things someone is about to be released in the name of Jesus any altar that is calling your name right about now whether it's in the east the west the north or south anyone on aparaka toskiata in the name of jesus i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now hear me and if your name was taken there by wicked men to say let me see what will happen that all the ladies in this family will not rise that all the men in this family will rise and fall I stand by the God who sent me any evil doer that took your name to any altar help them please I declare the sword of judgment upon them now help them please help them please a sword of judgment upon them now
whoever has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise in the name of Jesus may the ground open and swallow them and hear me please if there is anyone here because of your carelessness you are carrying causes from men of God causes from parents causes from innocent people people who stood and spoke maybe your past I'm not I'm not condemning you maybe before you got born again you were a rude and a lawless person no honor to people you could say anything to anyone and someone a mother hit her chest and said what you have done to me to be done to you I want to release you right now because many people don't know why it is not well with them things just tie down their destinies some of you have sat down and gossiped about men of God formed a circle and turned down men of God and the God that sent them was in that meeting watching all of you and in the midst of it you go back now and find out you cannot rise again in the name of Jesus I invoke the blood of the eternal covenant every legal access over your life be released from it now be released from it now be released from it now be released from the cause of dishonor be released from the scourging tongues of men final prayer if you come from a family here that they serve idols please hear me you come from a family where your grandfather your father worship idols you see I want to pray and release you because there are sacrifices most people do not know the mystery of blood you don't just slaughter a child or an innocent woman and then you drain the blood and perform sacrifices for 50 years and then just destroy the shrine and say it is over no there are rules of engagement let me release someone now because there are innocent people some of you you were not part of it but that bloodline is holding you and you may not know why you are not rising a man comes to you and says I want to marry you and those spirits manifest you want to rise to a dimension and something pulls you down in the name of Jesus every altar that is speaking against you every blood that is speaking like the blood of Abel I call upon the blood of Jesus to silence that blood right now I invoke the blood of Jesus to silence that blood right now This also has to do with territories. Sacrificed children, killed virgins, killed all kinds of people, killed missionaries. One more time I'm saying it. If there is any blood that is saying, come back when you are going forward. If there is any blood that is saying, come back like your father. I stand tonight, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you, go forward, go forward. Go forward, go forward, I release you, 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 go forward. Thank you, Jesus. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. One more time. From the rising of the sun to the setting. Father, 
in the name that is above all names I stand tonight by the privilege of the anointing that you have given anyone who is in any kind of pit right now marital pit financial pit ministerial pit in the name of Jesus let the power that raised Christ from the dead bring you out of that pit right now bring you out of that pit right now bring you out of that pit right now come out of that pit right now hear me everything you had that you thought was God that has been leading you into trouble you have done more than 50 instructions that came from that supposed voice and not one of it has glorified God in your life every demon masquerading as the voice of God confusing you confusing you maritally confusing you financially confusing you spiritually I silence that voice right now 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 the spirits that have hijacked your dreams and visions to the point that you don't even want to dream again because you don't trust what you see for some of you you were accurate in your dreams when God shows you things they happen in the name of Jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant I prophesy to you may your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood may your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood God is delivering someone anybody here who knowingly or unknowingly have gone to dark powers to get any kind of solution or people went on your behalf I want to release you now listen carefully the Bible says war to them that go to Egypt for help some of you they carried your names and took it to shrines you didn't know because they want you to marry because they want you to have children they want your ministry to thrive or some of you sincerely you were misled by well-intentioned but maybe ignorant people or just wicked friends let's go to this herbalist we will eat this they will buff us with this so that this will happen you cannot go to the devil and soil your hand with him and then suddenly wash your hand and say it's not my business there are rules of engagement no because there are many destinies that have been tied down right now because there are voices and altars saying you can't go you can't go for certain people parents respectfully speaking and with every sense of honor to parents parents please be careful don't allow desperation I want my child to go abroad by fire by force I want my child to marry by fire by force I want my child my daughter to have children by fire by force and sometimes by fire by force has led people someone who say well it's not exactly a herbalist he just knows how to see things someone is about to be released in the name of Jesus any altar that is calling your name right about now whether it's in the east the west the north or south anyone on aparakatoskiata in the name of jesus i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now hear me and if your name was taken there by wicked men to say let me see what will happen that all the ladies in this family will not rise that all the men in this family will rise and fall I stand by the God who sent me any evil doer that took your name to any altar help them please I declare the sword of judgment upon them now help them please help them please a sword of judgment upon them now
whoever has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise in the name of Jesus may the ground open and swallow them and hear me please if there is anyone here because of your carelessness you are carrying causes from men of God causes from parents causes from innocent people people who stood and spoke maybe your past I'm not I'm not condemning you maybe before you got born again you were a rude and a lawless person no honor to people you could say anything to anyone and someone a mother hit her chest and said what you have done to me to be done to you I want to release you right now because many people don't know why it is not well with them things just tie down their destinies some of you have sat down and gossiped about men of God formed a circle and turned down men of God and the God that sent them was in that meeting watching all of you and in the midst of it you go back now and find out you cannot rise again in the name of Jesus I invoke the blood of the eternal covenant every legal access over your life be released from it now be released from it now be released from it now be released from the cause of dishonor be released from the scourging tongues of men final prayer if you come from a family here that they serve idols please hear me you come from a family where your grandfather your father worship idols you see I want to pray and release you because there are sacrifices most people do not know the mystery of blood you don't just slaughter a child or an innocent woman and then you drain the blood and perform sacrifices for 50 years and then just destroy the shrine and say it is over no there are rules of engagement let me release someone now because there are innocent people some of you you were not part of it but that bloodline is holding you and you may not know why you are not rising a man comes to you and says I want to marry you and those spirits manifest you want to rise to a dimension and something pulls you down in the name of Jesus every altar that is speaking against you every blood that is speaking like the blood of Abel I call upon the blood of Jesus to silence that blood right now I invoke the blood of Jesus to silence that blood right now this also has to do with territories sacrificed children killed virgins killed all kinds of people killed missionaries one more time I'm saying it if there is any blood that is saying come back when you are going forward if there is any blood that is saying come back like your father I stand tonight koinonia in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you go forward go forward go forward go forward I release you 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 go forward thank you Jesus from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed. One more time. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Lord, you can go through me, whoever you want to lift. 
Lord, you can lift through me whatever you want to say. Lord, you can say through me whoever you want to change. Father, we hold our hands as a family of faith and we declare that we remain ever available. We thank you for showing us profound mercy. You have singled us out as a people and you have chosen to honor us. Not just the week past, you have invested your honor and your grace upon our lives. And Lord, we declare, I declare on behalf of your people that we have chosen to be on the Lord's side. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that you grant unto us as individuals and as a ministry longevity of impact. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray that everything that can become a distraction to our kingdom pursuit, let it be far from us. Lord, I'm praying for someone, I'm praying for a family that may be discouraged right now looks like you have not seen a performance of the word of god you have celebrated as a global family but individually you are yet to see certain results i agree with you because you are now determined to be on the lord's side may the power that is on the lord's side work for you may the wisdom that is on the lord's side work for you May the speed that is on the Lord's side work for you. May the immunity that is on the Lord's side work for you. May the restoration that is on the Lord's side work for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This week I declare over your life by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Return with results. This will be a week of strange evidences in your life. Whatever it takes to be fruitful, whatever it takes to be a worthy ambassador, I empower you with it right now in Jesus' name. And I rebuke the hand of Satan over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That by tomorrow, even up until next week, you will return with strange testimonies. I declare protection over you. I declare preservation over you. I command favor upon your life. Your prayer life will never go down. Your word study life will never go down. Supernatural revelation by the Spirit. Let the mantle of honor rest on you. Shame and reproach is far from your life. You indeed will show yourself as a people that God has helped. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise.